I have Michael Lamphere here with me, a nurse practitioner with Highland Hospital. And Michael, we've been talking about patients who experience COVID for an extended period of time. Can you just talk about what you all are seeing in your office and what long COVID, um, so to speak, might look like? Generally speaking, long COVID is symptoms from a COVID infection extending beyond the initial four weeks following the onset of true COVID symptoms. Uh, beyond that, it can be a wide variety of symptoms because as we know, a lot of strange things happen with COVID. A lot of inflammatory things. Classically, COVID's thought of as a respiratory illness, but we know about the issues with brain fog, fatigue, persistent cough, neurologic issues. Uh, some are far more frequent than others. What we're seeing in office more frequently is persistent cough or fatigue. That would be one of the most common things that we see and a lot of what people seek care for. Anything more, more acute or more severe is a little bit harder to track down at times. If somebody is experiencing these symptoms for an extended period of time, when should they be concerned or when would be that time to really reach out and ask for help? So at that four weeks, there's kind of that cutoff where it's saying, is this acute COVID related illness or is this prolonged long COVID? And the true cutoff to say, should we be seeking help is how much is it affecting your quality of life? Is it affecting your overall health and well-being? A persistent irritating cough that's slowly improving over time, although it still be there for a long period of time. Symptom management might be appropriate, but if it's getting worse or it's affecting your quality of life or your breathing and your sleep, then those are something that you want to pursue treatment for. I know there's been conversation about long COVID and, and is that something that's real? Is this really something that people are experiencing? Can you just kind of talk about the seriousness of this, that, that you all are seeing this in your office and then what somebody should do if they are experiencing those symptoms? Recent research supports more and more so that long COVID is real and more prevalent than what we realize. Uh, previous CDC reports would say it's one in every seven or eight people at that four week period, one in every maybe 20 people at the three month period. Uh, so that's pretty common considering the huge numbers of people that have had COVID or had COVID a second or third time because of the risk of reinfection with the separate strains. When seeking treatment, obviously we're looking for improved quality of life, improved outcomes. When, especially with neurologic or other more obscure symptoms associated with long COVID, it's not always obvious that that's what it's related to. Starting with your primary care provider and having them provide the oversight and, and insight into the care to make sure that sometimes the ailments and symptoms associated with long COVID require intervention from a specialist and evaluation by a specialist. So if it's affecting your quality of life, obviously seek out care from your primary care provider. They'll be able to push it further as appropriate because these, these ailments might not be fast resolving and they might need further care from a specialty service. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome.